Hey guys, Beijing here and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get um, Gempire class and I'm going to be doing a full guide and um, I'm going to show you guys how to use the class properly. So first of all, <coughs> pardon, first of all, uh, the way to obtain this class is really easy. All you have to do is to go to Merlin and click on Sir Alden. Once you go there, click on his legendary shop and the class will be right here. So the requirements are 65,000 gold and level 30. So this class I think will go rare since it has a green name. So you guys should uh, get this class really fast or else it's going to go rare. So let's go check out how this class works and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alright so first of all let's start with the first skill. It's called Ruby Blast and basically what it does is it uh, you throw a fireball at your enemy like so and once you throw it uh, basically it applies a damage over time you can see on the top it deals around 2000 to 4000 damage it depends um, I'm level 100 of course so I deal quite a lot of damage <coughs> but uh, once you use it quite oftenly it stacks up the damage but um, it does it the damage that it does is random so yeah so that's the first skill the second skill is called emerald blast what it does it petrifies your opponent for five seconds while doing a bit of damage so let's try that again it deals around two, five thousand damage to three thousand so again it's uh, pretty random and uh, yeah that's the second skill um, it costs 20 mana, so it's pretty good, and it has a 6 second cooldown, so you'll be able to petrify your enemy for a long time, and they'll only have 1 second to attack. So, the third skill is called Fire Blast, and what it simply does, it, it, regains, it gives you mana back. So let's say um, I use my first skill, and my second skill, and let's say I use my spell. I have 55 mana right here. And I'm gonna use a bit more and um, now let's use this skill you see it gives back 20 mana and it deals damage as well so it's a pretty good skill um, especially in PvP once you have uh, not a lot of mana you can just use this spell and you can get all your mana back <coughs> now on to the next skill the last skill actually which is called Amazus Blast what it does it basically lowers your enemies damage outcome so you can see here uh, let's try on to the mana elemental so it deals around 300 damage and let's apply this and uh, it should work it lowers the damage just up by a little bit I think it lowers like for like 20 damage or so so it's really good against small mobs or when you're just farming and you don't want to take a lot of damage so this class is really good and uh, I think it's really good for a free class actually it's not the best class you can get but it's really good for a free class it costs only gold and uh, yeah let's move on to the final stats alright guys so finally let's test it out on the bosses um, I'm going to be showing you guys what skill you need to use to a solo boss efficiently so of course I'm a level 100, I can solo boss easily, but for those of you who aren't level 100, this is the way to do it. So, first of all, use your first skill to apply damage, and since you don't want to get take damage a lot, you use your second skill to petrify it, and uh, you just keep on doing this. First skill, second skill, or third skill based on which one is up, and you just basically do that. And the last skill, I wouldn't suggest you guys to use it since it costs a lot of mana, and it doesn't really reduce that much damage um, it reduces quite a bit of damage but it's not worth for its mana just keep on using your 2, 3 and 4 skill and it's going to be really easy to kill a boss well for me it's easy because I'm a level 100 but just keep on using your second skill and your first skill these are really important uh, the third skill is good once you're low on mana but the third skill is really important to apply if you're lower level since you want to take the less damage as possible 
and uh, yeah that's basically how the way to solo the bosses and uh, yeah you always need to keep your third second skill up and your first skill just keep on using it and the third skill use it whenever you have the time or whenever it's needed all right guys so to end the video I'm going to be giving you giving you guys um, the three scores for the class so first score is going to be farming I give it 6 out of 10 the class is good for farming but it doesn't have a skill that targets multiple targets so I'm gonna just give it a 6 for soloing I'm gonna give it a 7.5 because it's really good for soloing the petrify is really long but <coughs> <coughs> the only thing that's that's um, bad about it, it is that there's no healing so lower level people won't be able to solo bosses that easy and for the final point is the um, PvP I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 it's really good for PvP the petrify is really good only thing as I said no healing and no dodge skill I don't know if a Medis Blast uh, applies on your enemies while PvPing but if it does it's going to be a plus so if it does I'm going to give it an 8.5 actually but if it doesn't, I'm just going to give it an 8. So for my final answer for the class, I'm going to be giving it a 7.5 in uh, total. And yeah, this is a great class for a free class. It's one of the highest rating I'm going to give for a free class. So you guys should get it while it's out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.